the birth of history. We also gave them the value of political education that you authored in 1989, and then the tribute to, Man to the late Mandela. Most of them already have their concept papers on the innovation that they are capable of doing. Now, the historical missions are three. Number one, do you want prosperity? Or are you determined to remain poor? Now, if you want prosperity, all those documents, that's how they talk, they talk about that in different ways. If you want prosperity, where will prosperity come from? Because like your relatives come and descend on you and beg from you. Can that create prosperity? The salary of one person who is working in the government to be shared by a whole clan. That's not how you get prosperity. So we are saying, you people, you have got, you, you want prosperity. Uh -huh. And in order to get prosperity, you must produce a good or a service, which you sell. And when you produce a good and a service, if you don't sell it, you will not get money and you will not be pro uh, prosperous. So that means, and, and it so happened that, uh, like for instance, when I was growing up, we had cows in Tungamo there. We had banana, our people had bananas. But I needed money for school. And, and there was no Mnyankore, no Mnyankore was buying cows. Because they all had cows, they all had bananas. So who were buying the cows for beef? It was the people from, there, was, there were three people. There was a man called Warisi Mpanga from Kampala who was buying cows for the meat in Kampala. That's how we were able to go to school. We would, we would take cows to the market and he would buy. There was another Mugana man from Barraport, Buchenya. His real name was Ukenya, but Banyankore cannot pronounce it. They would say Buchenya. They would they make fun of him, but he was very useful to them. He would be the one to buy our cows. And then uh, there was, uh, by 1956, a, a white man called uh, Shea started buying the cows, taking them to Chilembe Mines. That Chilembe Mines had started. So one day, our cow, Mpugaga, tossed him. knocked him down and, and Mzee Kabuta praised it, that it had tossed him room. <laughs> <laughs> but I was able to get money because of, not because of the Banyankore, because no Banyankore contributed to my education, other than the teachers, because they had no contribution. The ones who contributed to my education were to Baganda and Shea, who was taking these cows not to be sold in, in, uh, in Tungamo, but to be sold in Kampala. And even today, if you say Banyankore, they produce milk, they produce beef, but they don't buy those things. Because my neighbor has, has milk, I have milk. He has got bananas, I've got bananas. He has got beef, I've got beef. He doesn't buy from me, I don't buy from him. So who buys from, from, from him? The people of Kampala. So the prosperity of the Banyankore is based on Uganda, not on the Banyankore. And you can analyze that for all the tribes. If you look at, at, at uh, the Achoris, they produce simusim. But they don't buy that simsim because they all produce the same products. 
who buys the simple simple, the people of Kampala. So that's why we, we say principle number one, if you want prosperity, you need Uganda to be able to get that prosperity. To do what? To give you the market. But then, as your people were pointing out, soon you find out that even the Uganda market is not enough. You have seen the milk, the, 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 the beef, the, 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 sugar, the sugar. Once we wake up, the production will be so big that the internal market is not enough. So that's why we need the regional market. And that's how we get our, our principles. Principle number one, patriotism. Love Uganda. Why? Because you need it for your own good. Number two, love Africa because you need it for your own good, Pan-Africanism. But in order to take advantage of those, you must become a new person, a, new, a, mo a modern person. You cannot have peasants producing other peasants and then you think that you are going to survive or, or, or to be prosperous. You must become new people. So that is mission number one, which gives us the other principles of how to achieve these missions. Number one, patriotism. Number two, pan-Africanism, social economic transformation, and democracy. Then on strategic security, we need to work with other African countries. That's why we talk of the East African Federation. East African Federation can be able to send a satellite to the moon. Uganda will not be able to send a satellite, even when you become a modern country. Because it is, it's quite expensive. It needs size. So that's why, therefore, we talk of political and also economic integration. Now, once you, you, you get the mission, number one, the three missions, uh, prosperity, strategic security, using the brotherhood. That's why, that's why I was telling you about the similarity of languages. These people are talking about uh, the, the ones we are telling you to unite in order to, be, to, to work for prosperity are people who are not really very different. They are either similar or linked. Even, even our people in the north, the, the rules, you find there are linkages between the African, the, the Bantu languages and the rural language. And, and, and we have Swahili, Swahili, which is the language which belongs to nobody, which can unite all of us. So therefore, the, the missions are three. Prosperity, strategic security, but also using Undugu, brotherhood, which, which God has created for us. And in order to do that, we need the, th the four principles, pa patriotism, pan-Africanism, social economic transformation, and, and uh, democracy. Now, then when you go to uh, principle number three, social economic transformation, the question is, how can I transform myself from traditional person to, to modern person? We are saying that you, you can do it in two ways, or both ways. One way is education. That's why we introduced free education. We wanted, I wanted you to have a free education, but your people have been opposing it down there. The head teachers introduce charges in schools, they, they block it. It's not fully implemented. If it was implemented, all the children would be going to school. But they don't implement it fully because they, they, they don't understand. They, they are busy. They think that they should get money from you, that should suck money from you. So you need to. To, 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 to unite with the NRM, and we fight all those people who are blocking the free education of the children. But apart from free education, the other way is 
joining the money economy. That's why the Mugwere was talking of, of Kore Chida Kionka. You must get out of the Kore Chida Kionka and work for the, the Chida, but also the pocket. Now, if you are to work for money, in which sectors? That's why the other one of the people was summarizing, saying sector number one, commercial agriculture. Number two, manufacturing industries. Number three, services, and then ICT. So this is really the best uh, message of the NRM, the three parts, the mission, uh, the principles, and the transformation of society through education and through joining the money economy with the Chibaro, with the Chibaro. We insist on that with the Chibaro.